the 21st of May 1950 was destined to become an historic date in the world of motorsport, for it was on this day, at the Monaco Grand Prix, that Scuderia Ferrari made its Formula One debut with a car built in Maranello. Enzo Ferrari fell in love with motorsport on the 6th of September 1908, when at the age of 10, his father took him to watch the Copa Florio on the outskirts of Bologna. On the 12th of October 1929, Ferrari was invited to the celebrations for the world land speed record, set by Bacchanin Borsacchini at Cremona. At the time, Enzo, Alfredo Caniato and Mario Tadini were setting up the Scuderia, and the project came to life on the 16th of November in the offices of Modena lawyer Alberto Della Fontana and was officially approved on the 29th of the same month. Scuderia Ferrari was officially registered to buy Alfa Romeo race cars and to take part in races on the national racing calendar and on the calendar of the National Association of Automobile Clubs. The president was Mario Tadini and others involved were Enzo Ferrari. Alfredo and Augusto Caniato and Ferruccio Testi, as well as Alfa Romeo and Pirelli. In 1947, Enzo registered the Ferrari company and began racing cars with his name on. In 1949, the FIA, International Automobile Federation, launched a new Formula One World Championship to start the following year. The season began with the British Grand Prix at Silverstone, but Scuderia Ferrari did not take part because of a disagreement over start money. On the 21st of May, in Monaco, the Scuderia was ready for the start of the second ever championship Grand Prix. Ferrari entered three turbocharged 125F1s for Italians Ascari and Villaresi and Frenchman Raymond Sommer. There was an accident on the opening lap caused by an unexpected wave of water hitting the track at Tabac Corner that caused Giuseppe Farina to spin his Alfa Romeo when he was second behind teammate Juan Manuel Fangio. The Italian and nine other drivers retired in the incident. Fangio dominated after starting from pole and setting the fastest race lap. Alberto Ascari was second with Sommer fourth. Villaresi retired with transmission troubles. Enzo Ferrari was not satisfied and decided to accelerate plans to introduce the new car fitted with a more powerful engine. He pressured his technical staff to deliver and over the course of the season, they produced the 3300cc 275F1, then the 4100cc 340F1 and finally the 4500cc 375, all using normally aspirated V12 engines. Three evolutions in the space of a few months was a gargantuan task which showed the potential of the Maranello team.